This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Welcome to your 1 p.m. update. I'm your uh, guest host, Steve Rhodes, filling in for uh, Tommy O'Brien. Right now, we've got the Dow. All the indices are in the red. Uh, Dow is down 91 points. It's, an, it's the uh, semis that are down 3% leading the charge. And behind that, the NDX 100 off 1.5%. Spot volatility index of 3%, 49 pennies trade out at 16.49. Uh, gold is basically flat as is silver. Uh, lights we crude up 21 cents. So let's go take a look at what the markets are doing with there and what to really focus on um, over the next uh, many hours out here. If we take a look at uh, at the equity futures, so we'll look for levels here that you want to be watching. What you'll notice is that interest session, uh, the very panel on the right-hand side is Russell 2000, and it was pushed down actually below the bottom of its uh, daily market profile, daily uh, daily market profile, I said that, 1527. If there's a close below that, what you should see the Russell 2000 do is seek out the bottom of its consolidation pattern. That's in the 1497 level. No other equity futures contracts have tested the low of their daily profiles. The NQ, which as we point out, the NDX 100 is struggling percentage-wise, right now is testing the bottom of its weekly, but it's really the bottom of the daily profile that you would pay attention to. 73.42 is the number there. Now the Dow itself is uh, fairly strong. When I mean strong here, I'm just gonna look at the intraday chart here for you, uh, because this will provide you and I with the number to pay attention to. If you're watching us on Tiger TV, you're gonna see a 30 minute time frame chart with four different Different horizontal lines. The one that you're interested in came from May the 16th, and the low there is 25.565. Earlier this morning, that is what that is support. That is where price broke out. So price had pulled back to the breakout area. It did it this morning at exact well on the half hour basis. It did it during the half hour time period of nine, uh, 10 o'clock this morning, and then it has bounced since then. So the the YM, the Dow Equity Futures contract, is held up the best. If the markets are going to fall park to the downside, I would anticipate that you would see the Dow Equity Futures contract. YM is a ticker symbol out there for that contract. Uh, uh, it a close below 25.565. Look, if you'd like more detail, just stay tuned uh, because the Trader's Ed show is up next and uh, we'll be able to cover all these markets in more detail during the next hour. But thanks for being here. Have a great Monday. I look forward to seeing you soon.